The Better Bus Project is a multi-step process aiming to overhaul the Greater Boston Bus Network. It's huge, so I'll only be able to scratch the surface. But in this video, I'll share my thoughts on the Bus Network Redesign. The bus network redesign is part of a larger proposal called the Better Bus Project. This project aims to transform our um, developing bus system and turn it into a world-class system. Some things that uh, the MBTA is doing to try to accomplish this are creating more bus lanes, giving buses signal priority, and uh, electrifying the fleet. Uh, well, mostly. And mainly, what I will be focusing on today, the complete redesign of our bus network. Now this proposal is huge, so unless I want to make a two hour long video, it won't be possible. But what I will do is talk about the key changes occurring and talk about what I like and don't like. So without further ado, let's dive in. Now, say you want to learn about this bus network redesign. The first thing you're going to do is go to the website. Well, as soon as you go on the website, you are overwhelmed with information. It's almost as if they designed the website to be as complicated as possible. After you scroll trying to find your region, and you finally make it, you are greeted with more information. I think one of the biggest issues of this project is how unpassenger friendly it is. The website and... Just the information getting to passengers. All right, now let's talk about the route changes. Here are a few I believe are big mistakes. First, eliminating the 88 and completely changing the 87. Instead of operating from Arlington Center to Lechmere via Union Square, it now combines part of the 67, 87, 95, and even a little bit of the 89 into one route running from Turkey Hill to Sullivan via Medford. Oh, wait, did I mention they're getting rid of the 89? What? Wh why? Is, is there a replacement bus? Is, is this the replacement bus? The 89 is a very popular bus, and so is the 87. This new route is an utter mess. Just look at the routing at Davis. Oh, God. <sighs> Here's what I would do. First, bring back the 89. There's no point why it should be gone. Also, uh, extend the 87 to Union Square from Davis. You can still do the weird thing to Turkey Hill, so it can run Turkey Hill to Arlington to Davis to Union Square. This would provide a connection to the GLX, and if they want to keep this weird routing around, they can do that. And people can go to the market basket and connect to the red and green line. That's what I would do. Alright, that was negative. Let me talk about a positive change. The MBTA has introduced a brand new bus line called the 54. This bus will run from Arlington to Riverside via Waltham. And while this route does not affect me at all, I imagine it would be a lot of help for residents in the suburbs. Another change I want to highlight is the 39. This route now runs from Forest Hills to Back Bay, but under the new proposal, it will run all the way to Porter Square. This will make this route a monster. Although there are many new connections that will benefit from this route, it will be painfully slow. At rush hour, I imagine it might take over two hours from Porter to Forest Hills. I could go on forever about changes. Some last things I want to mention are the removal of the 44 and the complete rechange of the 29. These routes are so important and critical for the underserved communities they are in by the MBTA. A common theme with these changes are the idea that combining routes and making them longer will improve the routes. Another theme is taking two routes that operate similar routes and only keeping one of them. For example, 28 and 29, 441 and 442, and the 87 and 88, but they just eliminated them both there. Although the bus network redesign is far from perfect, I think it is a good first step. However, I think the MBTA does need to listen to feedback so we can truly have a great bus system. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this brief overview of the bus network redesign. Make sure to fill out the bus network redesign survey if you haven't already. Also, I will be gone until August, but expect videos then. Thanks for watching. Bye.